literally everything in my life and with my work, just in general, I just like the word work. And they, they were happy with that, they were like, okay, thanks, bye. And I thought, oh, fuck, shit, I'm really losing my opportunity. <laughs> Treating me, keep walking. <laughs> and um, so, you know, we had lots of conversations about it, and they, um, they gave me the script, and, um, and I, I read it, you know, like, cover to cover, which I've never really done before with anything apart from, like, heat magazine or something like that. So um, I definitely felt a bit more grown up once I read that. And then I, um, I wrote it with a guy called Paul Letworth, who I wrote Rolling on the Deep and stuff like that with, and um, it was great. And I was, um, I was very pregnant by the time of the final vocal, and that's one of the reasons that the song is so low. This is the end, I rather go home to Because when I was pregnant, I turned into a man. That's what happened to me, I grew a beard. Literally, I plucked it last night before I came on stage. My makeup artist was like, yeah, I'm not sure on that massive screen in front of like 100,000 people if you can pull off a beard. <laughs> so I plucked it fresh for you last night. And um, the video, oh, thank you so much, Adam. Thank you very much. And then the video that you guys at the front, although you have the best seats, you can't see the videos for the songs that I've, that I've video recorded for you or whatever. But you guys out there can. And this next one, I did, um, I did straight after the end of my tour because this is my 121st show in 15 months. Can I get an amen? Before this tour, I was absolutely bloody useless at touring. I booked them, I cancelled them, I booked them, I'd lose my phone, I'd book them, I'd get pregnant. Only the ones. That sounds like I get pregnant on like a daily basis. That doesn't happen at all. Kind of wish it was. <laughs> But I uh, always, something always came up. And I, uh, anyway, so I did this footage a week after the last day before I started this stadium tour. And um, I look magnificent in it, I'm not going to lie. I'm not going to beat you around the bush. I look bloody fantastic in it. I did, yes, I know. The reason I look, I think I look magnificent is, it, in it is because obviously there's lots of um, you know, different effects on it. You know when you take a selfie on your iPhone and then you pick the sort of, what I don't know what they're called, like a little selfies, but you know when you put the different filter, thank you so much, filter on it and then there's also that secret compartment that you can go into where you can adjust all the levels of all these young'uns, they know what I'm talking about. And uh, I mean, I'm a young'un too, I'm just a bit out of touch. Anyway, and it's all that on it, but also I'm channeling Kate Winslow and the Little Mermaid area. So that is why I look so great, because those, those two are two of the best women of all time, in my opinion. So, I'll let you know the true story of the video, because although I look great, it was fucking murder to film. I'm like, no, so don't say I don't love you. Both my grandmothers are here tonight, I'm, I apologise for swearing now. I apologise, no, 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 I'm sorry. Anyway. Let's get on with it so I don't say any more to This is Skyfall. Help me out with the big note at the end.
gentlemen, thank you very much. I'll see you on Saturday. Give them a big hand of applause, you lot. So, did you see the video where I was being Rose and I was being Ariel? Did you see that video? Like five of you were watching the video that I spent nine hours making for you in that bloody water, the tank. I'm telling you, it might look like I'm in a lake or an ocean or the sea or a river or a pond, whatever. It might look like that, but I'm not. I'm in a fish tank on display. And the fish tank wasn't even big. It was like three of them. And I know I've got a very large bottom, but that's still quite small to spend that much time with. Also, the other thing you can't see is the fact that right to my right, in all of that footage, when it's been cut and made to look like it's the best thing ever, like we talk about filters and stuff like that, we've all got black ears, what can we do about it? In fact, on my program um, that went on sale today, the front cover is untouched and you can see my black heads and those invisible white heads that you get in your nose because some muppet didn't get it retouched. Can you believe that? My father, when we got I'm not embarrassed, it's fine, I'm not embarrassed.